Hey guys, Woods Farm here, Project 222. Just back out working on the Scout car. Today we are going to start working on the mount for the MG34, so stick around and check it out. Okay guys, we're finally there. Very exciting to be uh, working on the mount for the MG34. This is gonna be an interesting fabrication project because the mount has to be correct, at least so that it will interface with various versions of the MG34, uh, whether it be an airsoft, um, or a DWAT or potentially a blank fire only version if we go down to the US. Uh, we want the mount to work with all the very various versions of the MG34. Okay, so here's what we're working with to model the mount off of. I've got a DWAT. This is basically a deactivated uh, Canadian legal um, MG34. Uh, this is kind of a short barrel version. Um, in the back here, we have an airsoft um, version of the MG34. So there's a few key points I'm trying to make sure are the same on the two um, machine guns, um, particularly these mounting points right up in here. And there's also studs at the back, um, at the back here. And that is what will interface with the mount where the MG gets clamped into place. When this is in the vehicle configuration, the butt stocks are removed. Um, same with the bipod. Um, so there's a clamp down sort of mechanism that works, interfaces with this part, and there's like a hook sort of bracket that these pins will slide into. So looking for reference material was a little difficult, um, but here is a component. This is part of a machine gun mount. I don't know what it is from, but you can see these little C hooks at the back here. Um, that interface with those studs near the uh, pistol grip. Same thing, here's another uh, photo of a coax mounted um, machine gun. Um, and you can see, again, the same sort of concept with the little C bracket that those studs mount into. And then at the top here, over the barrel, you can see like a C clamp that flips over and clamps down. Here's another photograph of a MG34 mounted um, you can see again, there's this, there's like a bracket, an arm that comes out and extends here. And there is the little, uh, the C clamp, or I should say bracket. I don't know what you would call that, but that interfaces with those studs. And then up at the front of the barrel, same idea. This is very similar to that, uh, relic piece that I showed you at the beginning there. Um, I assume this has something to do with like a quick detach mount, um, and maybe also adjustability for sighting it in and locking it down. We're not going to worry too much about the finer details, but what we need is we need a system that will uh, work with any MG34 that we want to swap in. Yeah, so already I'm seeing some slight differences. The airsoft... Um, the diameter of that front spot here where the C-clamp goes around, it's a little larger on the airsoft, which is fine. I will make the clamp accommodate the airsoft and we can shim it when we switch to a different uh, MG34 um, or even use a little bit of a rubber spacer. The pins at the back are about the same size, the same diameter, which is good. Um, the ones on the real deal are a lot heavy, more heavy duty and a little, um, little bit longer. They stick out a little bit further, but I think I can work with this. We don't have to worry about recoil, um, so that's a good thing. Um, it'll give me a little bit of uh, wiggle room with how heavy duty I actually have to make this uh, mount. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but I think the main idea is to just start working on something and we'll progress from there. Um, this type of fabricating is really fun because um, I sort of have to use my imagination and uh, the materials I have at hand to come up with the solution.
Okay guys, I'm just gonna take a quick break and explain to you where I'm at with the uh, machine gun mount. Okay, so if you notice in the video, I came across uh, a slight problem. There's actually a difference between the Airsoft uh, MG34 and the DWAT. I was so concerned about the diameter um, of the mounting point here and also the size of the studs, um, these mounting pins at the back, I never thought and it didn't occur to me that this distance would be off significantly, but um, the airsoft from the center of the uh, rear pin to the center of the mounting points, about 15 and 3 eighths, 15 and a half. And it is significantly smaller on the uh, real MG coming in at about um, 13 and a quarter somewhere in around there. So that's a pretty big difference and everything else seems to want to line up and work, but that distance is way out. So I think there's a couple of ways I can solve this problem. So I think one of the simplest things to do would be to, um, and luckily I can, I have the, the play to do that is just drill another hole and it would move these uh, hooks, these uh, C clamps, whatever you want to call them. It would move those forward and shorten the distance here to accommodate the uh, the uh, the actual D Watt MG34. So I think that's probably the simplest thing. Another option is to just refabricate a whole separate one of these brackets. You can see I've got holes here. This is going to uh, bolt onto another piece, which goes over and bolts onto the gun carriage itself. So could that potentially fabricate a whole new piece? I don't know. Um, right now, this one is working for the Airsoft, which is what we want. Um, and I'm kind of considering it just a prototype anyways. There's a few uh, features. I don't like the way it looks, um, but it is functional at this point. Okay, instead of showing you all the work, which was basically just measuring, cutting plate, drilling a lot of holes, um, basically stuff you've seen me do before. I kind of skipped ahead and I'll show you where I'm at now with the MG mount. So basically there is a plate there that goes across. There needed to be a slight little bit of drop down. So there's that plate welded on the end. I'm probably gonna reinforce that with some gussets. And then there's the mount that you've seen. And I will get a different angle so you can see the MG. So there's four bolt holes here. And I think eventually will happen is when the 20 millimeter gets mounted here, it will incorporate these bolt holes as well. Um, I made some slotted holes on this plate so it has some adjustability uh, left to right. You can see I added some reinforcements, some gussets to that forward part of the mount. I really think that's what takes the majority of the weight. And then there's the rear section that clamps on and holds the back of the MG. And you see there's quite a bit of play there. And at the end of the day where that's coming from is actually this plate here. Um, I think this is 3 sixteenths. Um, I'm going to have to reinforce this because looking at it, that's where it's getting the flex is right here. Um, I think it's just kind of an up and down flex. So I'll reinforce it on the underside and uh, try to get rid of that movement. At this point, I'm a little concerned that this might be a bit too high, um, maybe by an inch or so maybe even a couple inches. I don't think it's that much too high. Um, but yeah, the plane here is a little a little bit high. Um, now, if you look at the uh, the 20 millimeter, it is it does sit high up and it allows some depression um, into this slot, but uh, this'll be something that I'll have to revisit this winter to try to get uh, sorted out. Um, I know how to lower it. Um, it's not that big of a process. Um, I just need to remove 
this piece here and you know trim a little bit off the bottom and drop the whole thing down and I can get the measurements right. So sitting in the uh, commander seat here, you have about, I wanna say a solid 12 inches of space from your chest um, to the back here. Um, <clears throat> I tried to push the MG as far forward as I could. I actually had to make an adjustment and bring it back an inch because I, the armor here is sloped back. So to bring it up, it was actually, the mount was hitting just at the corner here. So I had to bring it back about an inch um, but it's as far back as I dare put it. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. The basic mount is complete. I've got some uh, welding to do on it. I'm adding some gussets. And obviously it's got to get primed and painted, but it works in concept. Um, I'm going to have to re-enforce uh, that mounting plate for the main uh, 20 millimeter because it has that flex in it. But that's a project for another day. For now, we have an Airsoft MG34 mounted. Um, so I'm going to move on to some other parts of the project to try to get this ready for our tactical event in a couple of weeks. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.